What's going on guys? Here I am in front of the Dell Dimension 2400 for an awesome video that we're going to be working on. It's a little project right here. I got some memory and a hard drive and that's going to be considered some upgrades for the Dell Dimension 2400 so I'm going to be putting in replacing the mixed RAM that's in here for these for these two right here. These are these are both a gigabyte of DDR1, but this computer can support up to two gigabytes. And these both got the same clock speed. The ones that are in there, I believe, got like a different clock speed, but I'm going to end up changing that out. And I'm going to be replacing the 80 gigabyte hard drive. That's about almost slowly fall, about to almost go out. With this Western Digital Caviar. 160 gigabyte and it has 7200 RPM and I'm definitely going to be doing a reinstallation of Windows XP on this thing on the new hard drive so without further ado let's go ahead and begin by opening up the side panel so we can do the hard drive in the memory Let me go ahead and lay it down and I'll come right back. Alright, so I got the computer gently laid down. And then we'll go ahead and start taking out the memory by um, releasing these tabs. And before you do this, make sure you de-static yourself to this part right here before replacing any RAM modules so you don't cause no static charge and it's recommended that you don't have the computer all plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and set that gently to the side and install one of the new RAM modules. These are ATEC RAM modules that we're installing. You want to go ahead and gently line it up in, in the grooves. And it should click like that. And you want to be very gentle putting this in there. And you want to make sure it's all the way down in there secure. So we're going to move on to the hard drive. Alright, I still got the computer laid down. There's something I wanted to note while you have it laid while while you have it laying down. There's this screw right here. And before you replace the hard drive, there's a screw right here at the bottom that goes for the hard drive caddy. You wanna go ahead and take that screw out. Sorry about that. It's hard doing it with one hand. screw just simply comes right out right out you can just loosen it up and you don't want to lose that screw by the way and there's another screw right down there so we can go ahead and um unscrew that one Sorry about that. This thing falling off. So I guess it is hard doing it one hand, but So there we go, with that screw. And 
but there's something else that's kind of getting in the way, so I'll go ahead and gently stand this back up. There's something that requires taking off this front panel. There's a tab here, another one right here. Can't hardly see the tabs, but and there's one right up here. And there you go, you have access to your hard drive, so there's two screws on each side and you just disconnect them cables and I'll be right back. Alright, I got the new hard drive installed in the bracket. Here's something you want to note. You want to get it gently in there on, the, on these little grooves right here, these little tabs. It lines up proper, perfectly, lines up perfectly right there. And when you're screwing this back on, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. So yeah, the installation is a reverse of removal. And on the next clip, we're going to go back and um, test the hard drive. There's, like I said, there's a screw that's going to go right here. And another one here. So let me go ahead and put the front cover back on and call it a wrap. Alright, I got everything all plugged back up. And we're going to go ahead and test the new hard drive. I got a restore disk that I'm going to be using to verify that the hard drive works. So, yep. Here's the new hard drive going. Put the restored disk in. So let's see if we can go ahead and run setup utility. Seems like everything's all set up. So it recognizes the new memory that's installed, so that's good. So we can go ahead and exit out. And the disc I'm using is a Windows XP Service Pack 2 disc, which is XP Professional. Even got a COA. But other than that, I'm going to come back after once I get Windows installed on this new hard drive and See you guys then. All right, I got the new hard drive installed and Windows fully reinstalled. Right now, I'm just reloading my programs at the moment. So this is a whole new, fresh installation of XP on this 160 gigabyte hard drive, and I'm just copying my files over that I had saved on this computer. Then I'm going to go ahead and install some updates once I get a few little programs configured here and there. And in my next video I got a CPU upgrade coming. I'm just waiting on the Arctic Silver to come in. And it's in this little bag right here. This is, gonna, this is a 3.6 giga, gigahertz Pentium 4 that actually supports this uh, Dell Dimension 2400. I'm going to get some Arctic Silver this week, next week or so. 
And once I get it, then I'm definitely going to work on an attempt to doing a, a CPU upgrade. Upgrade that Pentium 4 that's in this thing. I believe this is like a 2.2 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4 that's in this machine. Or 2.7, something like that. Can't remember off the top of my head though, but I know it's a 2. Point something gigahertz, but overall, I'm gonna end this video and thanks for thank you for all watching and see you soon on the next video.